Ooh, yes, March sadness. Sadness. <laughs> what does that mean? That means that you get those warm temperatures moved in and you're in the high 70s, low 80s, and all of a sudden, boom, you're back down to 26 degrees <laughs> and everything just stalls out or it actually dies. That's what I'm gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about this crazy month, which I think is one of the craziest months, which is March, where you'll be in 80 degrees and all of a sudden down to 26. And what am I doing differently with both the Bermuda lawn, the Zoysia lawn, and this cool season grass? So hold on. Hey guys, in a second, I'll take you over to the other house and we'll look at my Bermuda lawn. It had started to turn green. We did our scalp and sure enough, <laughs> 28 tonight, 26 tomorrow, and then Friday, a high of 81. Dude, you, you just can't make this crap up. But if you follow our calendars, get the lawn guides. If you have Bermuda, Zoysia, or cool season grass, there's calendars and every question, every answer to every question you might have anything it's all there they're free no sign up we don't want your information just use them each grass has its own website we put them up years ago over a million people have used them anyways but just stick to your game plan i'm just not worried about it that's why on our jump start program we don't push our lawns we don't put down a whole bunch of nitrogen we put down pgf balance which is a 10 10 10. then if you want to come out about this time of year right around beginning at end of march uh beginning of april depending on your temperatures that's when you're gonna start your PGF complete. This, however, is cool season grass, which withstands the, t the freeze just fine. Matter of fact, we gotta cut it again. Ah, we're cutting this stuff, this stuff's growing like crazy. But the one thing I am gonna do today, um, if you know anything about this soil, it was nasty. I mean, it was almost white red clay. We finally got roots in the ground. So what I wanna do now is I wanna pound down some humichar because we will be installing some kind of lawn. Now what I may do back here is I may come in here and do some type of fescue at first and get that established and then come back maybe with a zoysia just because of all the shade back here. I think that would probably do well here. So I don't know yet, but we gotta cut this and then I'm gonna put down some humichar. So that's what I'm doing. I'm working on my soil right now. We're all over here, we're packing up the final stuff. And I wanna show you what the yard looks like. So this, remember, this yard had a solid green haze on it. And now all of a sudden, we've got that uh, back to dormancy kind of look to it. But that's fine. I have no problem with that. Same thing. Everything is stalled. So we've into that stall zone. The only thing I'm really worried about, and man, I really hope we don't get down into the deep 20s. I'm worried, really worried about my rose bushes, to be honest. Man, I hate to have that. I've even already got rose buds on them, and I think they're going to get burned back. Ugh, hate that. Now let's take a look at the putting green, which is shocking to me because now it's a cold season grass. This is a dwarf bent. It looks. Funny. I'm really surprised how this has dealt with the cold over this year. Excuse all the white little dots. That's from actually that tree over there. But man, it just looks phenomenal. Really looks good. So anyway, so I'm gonna head back to the house. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down some human char on that lawn. It's an active growing cold season lawn. Uh, I'm gonna cut it. We fertilized it last week. That's what I'm gonna do. That's not too bad for a, uh, what did we hit? High, we hit in the 30s last night. Week before we got down into the 20s. Not too shabby, again, we're gonna put down, I've been putting down here, we've been putting down PGF Complete 1608 because this is a little bit high on phosphorus. And today after he cuts, I'm gonna put down some humichar 
We're just trying to load this soil up with carbon. Once the weather gets warm, what are we gonna switch over to? We're gonna switch over to dirt booster. But at some point, there's a bunch of bumps and waves in here. I gotta come in here and level this, but I don't wanna level it with leveling material. I'm actually gonna use topsoil and come in here with dry topsoil and level it. And then what we'll do is we'll, by that time we'll have some fescue established and I'll cut the fescue really short and keep cutting it and keep cutting it and then overseed with that zoysia once temperatures are in well into the 80s. So in case you're wondering, this is the backyard for the dogs. This is the yard we'll really take care of. But what we did is we pulled out about 40 trees out of here. And then I took a skid steer with the teeth and I raked this and raked this and raked this for almost six hours. I came back and I planted mostly, this is mostly annual rye. But man, doesn't that look good? So John, I have John coming through here with his zero turn and he cuts this about every other week. We just want to keep it at about six inches or so, just to have a nice green field. And then out front, between there's an area between the pond and the driveway. We're also going to do lawn over in there too. And uh, but man, she uh, we're finally living here. Finally moved in uh, this past week. Exhausting experience. So now, this is a, uh, a 40 pound bag of humichar is a big bag because <laughs> humichar is really light, biochar is light. So it's a really big bag, but I'm gonna put this, this area is four to 5,000 square feet. And I'm gonna put this whole bag on here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to pound down carbon in the form of biochar and humic acid. We're trying to raise this carbon. This soil has had nothing on it for 10 years. No organic matter, it was red and white. It was just miserable. Why am I get lucky? Because I left this bag in the back of my truck overnight and it rained. And I only had a couple little pieces that got wet. Man, I got lucky. While he's finished cutting, let me show you the humichar. So humichar is a mix of biochar and humic acid in the form of a DG particle. Now, a DG particle stands for dispersible granule. As soon as water touches this, you can put it in a bowl and try it. After about 30 to 60 seconds, it just breaks apart into thousands of subparticles. It's really cool. And the only way to get biochar into your soil is to micronize it. You cannot take granular biochar and put it on your soil and expect it to work in. It, it'll take years. This stuff still goes slowly into your soil, but you're talking about a process of months versus years. And we have treated, I've got a picture somewhere of the difference of a year treatment from our old red clay to the darker with the humichar in it. I'll see if I can find that. It's pretty amazing, the difference. I hope I'm not laying in poo. <laughs> well, hi there, fat dog. How are you? <laughs> what are you doing, honey? You like your backyard? Oh, squirrels over there. Anyways, here's what I want you to think about right now, this time of year. You can't predict this March weather. Heck, you may even have a snow come up. Um, you just don't know. Like I said, we're going to be 28, then 26 for a low. Friday high of 81. It's just crazy. You just can't predict it. Stay on track and stay focused. The, this time of year, you can do a few things. You can be putting down humichar, uh, improve your soil. You can be doing a soil test. Now, if you haven't done your soil test, in the description below, on that page that I linked to, right on the top, there's a place for the soil test that I used. And you can get back your results, you know, in like seven days on it. It's a really good product. 
But uh, I can't complain about this. Everyone's like, everyone that comes over here is like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> How do you have a green yard? I don't want to tell them that it's annual rye, but I tell them, I said, it's annual rye grass mixed with a little fescue. I'm using PGF Complete 1608. And what we'll do, like I said, this will start to die out. So I will come over. I will not kill this. I'll just cut it down, cut it down, cut it down. I'll come back with some uh, heat and shade tolerant fescue, get that going. And then once the warmer temperature moves in, when the fescue kind of wants to die off, I'll come back with my zoysia seed and we'll let them battle it out. We'll see what takes. Um, eventually we're going to put irrigation back here. So I got irrigation coming in. We'll use the shallow well pump for the irrigation over here. And that's about it. Anyways, uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll uh, talk to you later. Doc.